I set up this experiment to demonstrate the double slit experiment with laser light but rather than doing it in one dimension I'm now doing it in two dimensions. So the setup is as follows. This is my laser here and I've had to be careful to get that as level as possible relative to my slit setup over here. And then in here, this holder, there are not just one pair of double slits, but there are two pairs. And what I've done with those is I've crossed them. So I have one double slit vertical in that holder and the other one is horizontal. So they cross over in one point. So I've got the double slits in perpendicular directions, roughly in the center there. And then I'm projecting onto the wall over here. I've put a piece of paper there to give me a bit of a smoother surface. What we are going to observe over here is the interference pattern that you'd get from a double slit, from a simple double slit experiment going in this direction and in this direction simultaneously. So we should see two interference patterns superimposed on each other. So the, the double slits are both of the same dimensions, same slit separation, same slit size, and obviously I'm using the same laser, and so we should see the, a, a vertical interference pattern and a horizontal interference pattern simultaneously. So let's have a look at what that looks like. It's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but I will give a close up in a moment. So here we go. So now my laser is shining through the point where the double slits cross. And as I said, I've tried to be as precise as possible in getting this lined up. So I've adjusted the level of the laser and the slits. And this is our interference pattern. So you, at the moment you can see on the screen that we're, we're getting some laser light over there. The interference, uh, sorry, the uh, intensity reduced because the laser light is now being spread out. So let's go and have a look close up of what it looks like. Okay, so let's move the camera closer to that interference pattern so we can see in more detail. Okay, so now we're much, much closer and you can see this is our bright central region here, this big, bright, rounded rectangle in the middle. That's our bright central region, and within that, you can now see the individual dots. So that's the two source interference pattern, which is being superimposed onto these larger bright and dark fringes here. The bright and dark fringes come from the single slit interference, which is still there, even though you're using a double slits. When you use double slits, the, their pattern is superimposed. You can see a gradual reduction in the interference going from the center towards this first, this but a much darker region to the left and to the right. But yeah, we can see this grid-like arrangement of bright dots within that bright central region. That's our 2D two-source interference pattern. Because the, doubles, the two pairs of double slits are perpendicular to each other, we have something like a horizontal interference pattern first, and then that interference pattern is then being uh, interfered again through the uh, horizontal uh, double slit, so we get a vertical interference pattern from that. So if, I'll say that again. It's like you have a horizontal interference pattern, which then gets interfered in the vertical direction, which gives you this, this grid-like pattern. So the, the bright dots are arranged in this grid-like pattern, horizontal or vertical. So yeah, that's our two source 2D interference pattern.